Hey everybody, welcome back to Ride It, Wrench It. Today we're gonna to show you a quick tip on how to adjust the handlebars on a Harley-Davidson Touring model, specifically a Street Glide Special. So sometimes you're gonna to have to adjust your handlebars, um, whether it be stock or you know aftermarket apes that you put on. And for the Street Glides or any touring bike except road glides, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people don't know that there is an easy way to do this. So if you come down to your uh, ignition panel right here, there's two bolts on both sides. There's, there's two bolts, one on both sides right here. It's a 532nd. At least on the 2022, 20, it's, a, it's a, a 532nd. So just start by taking that off on both sides. I wanted to show you this. So coming down here onto the ignition cover, you can see that it's notched in here. That allows me to be able to pull this cover loose and slide it out which gives me access to those lower handlebar clamp bolts. If you've got an older bike, like my 2012, that notch doesn't exist. So what you end up having to do is you've got to take your ignition off in order to pull that off to get to the lower handlebar uh, clamp bolts. So it's a little more difficult process to uh, do it on an older bike. The other thing is on an older uh, bike, instead of using Allen head, bolts they use Torx so you won't be able to use like like we use the ball end allen wrench to get to them on the 2022 and 2015 you won't be able to do that with a Torx um, which means you're going to have to make sure that your Torx is more straight up or it's not going to tighten well okay once you get those two bolts off you can just pull this back and that allow you access to the two lower handlebar clamp bolts. You can see right there, there's one of them. Come around the other side, there's the other one. So then what you can do is you can come in here with a, uh, well at least on the 2022, it's a quarter inch ball end Allen wrench. That allows some wiggle or flexibility in there. You can come right in under there like that and you can loosen that bolt, well both of these bolts, this one on this side and this one on that side. At that point uh, it allows you to adjust your handlebars. You don't have to worry about the other two handlebar clamp bolts. Um, you'll need to loosen these two. You can actually take them out if you want. It's not going to hurt anything, but you don't have to go that far. All right, when you're adjusting these bars after you loosen up those two lower handlebar clamps, don't pull, like don't do all this mess because the handlebar clamp itself is made out of a softer material than the bars. The bars have um, ridges that I'm sure you've seen. Well, well, hell, let's show you. Here you go. So these are the stock handlebars I took off. So you can see these little ridges in here. What those do is they grab into the softer metal of the handlebar clamp and it helps keep the bars from moving back and forth on you. Um, if you sit here and you, you, you do it real hard or real fast, you're actually going to smooth out the, handle, the, the round part of the handlebar clamp and you'll, you'll grind the metal smoother to where these ridges may not be able to grab into the inside curvature of the handlebar clamp, which means that you may have an issue with your bars moving later on. So just do it real easily. You know which way you're going to go anyway, um, you know, with them if you're pulling forwards or backwards and just, just ease the bars and, uh, and uh, don't jerk on them too hard. Once you adjust the handlebars, come in there with your torque wrench. Torque to specification, the uh, 2022 is 16 to 20 foot pounds. Uh, be sure and check your year for what those specs are. Once you're done, make sure you put your cover back on. There's some little tabs up here. Those actually go underneath the fairing. If you don't get the tabs on, it won't sit right. And be sure and do both sides. So I hope that helps as a quick tip on how to adjust the handlebars on a Harley Davidson Tourer bike, uh, ex ex excluding road, road glides, of course. Um, as always, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, be sure and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And visit our website with a uh, related article to this uh, video at rideitwrenchit.com.